Hi, my name is Mark and I make Grey Ace. Grey Ace is the shortened term for the word grey sexual and it's an identity used by some people in the asexual community to refer to somebody who does have a bit of sexual attraction but experiences it to quite a low degree. Asexuality is often thought of as you know, people who don't have attraction at all. But actually, a lot of people on the ace or asexual spectrum do experience attraction, but they experience it to different levels. And having the words to describe these different levels can be really helpful in helping us to communicate how we are and communicate our needs. So the word gray ace is immensely helpful for me because it helps people to understand that, you know what, I do experience sexual attraction. I do have sex. I do enjoy sex and I do enjoy sexual things, sexual fantasies and so on. But I may experience them to a significantly lower degree than most people would. Like a lot of people on the ACE spectrum, I came to this realization quite late on in my life, actually in my mid thirties. And the reason for that was because, of course, we grew up in a world where we're just all assumed to be allosexual or we're all assumed to experience sexual attraction, sexual feelings to a significant degree. But I was bi, and that means I could experience attractions to uh, men and women, people of all genders. And so that actually had an impact on my asexuality. Because I was so confused about my bisexuality, i.e. I was so confused as to whether like I liked men or women, and there was all this trauma and all this confusion, all this anxiety that went along with that, I didn't realize that actually when it came down to it, whether I was with a man or a woman or whoever, I didn't really experience that much sexual attraction. And so it wasn't until I actually healed from all of that anxiety, all of that confusion, and came to terms with the fact that I was attracted to and could be with people of all genders or any gender, that I realized my grey sexuality. And so now I'm coming to terms with that. And it can be difficult. You know, it can be difficult for all asexual people. Um, but for me as a great ace person, it can be difficult because first of all, people think if you say you're ace, that you don't have sex and that's not true. So it's really, really difficult to describe that to um, friends or family or people just that you meet. It's also really difficult to describe that in dating life and so on, because, you know, people think, oh, well, he's not going to be into physical connection. He's not, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's asexual. Like I can't date him. That's not the truth. Um, it's just about the way that I actually experience it. Um, and so I often find myself having to justify myself or having to kind of over explain it. And this can be difficult because it's difficult to explain. It's quite nuanced and it doesn't really always make sense. But also because I don't always understand it myself. You know, as I said, I've come to it, you know, quite late. And so really being great ace and being questioned on it and having to explain it is really, really difficult. But essentially, I just have the full range of sexual feelings. I have the full range of sexual attractions um, and I have desire to have sex, but I'm just not as bothered as most people seem to be. By the way, if you relate with anything in this video or if you want to come and chat with me, can join our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash not defining. You can ask me questions. You can write to me 24 hours a day. 
And you can also join group sessions with other like-minded people and get loads and loads of extra content. So join us on Patreon. We would love, love, love to see you. So as I was saying, I feel like the people around me are way more interested and excited about sex than I am. I feel like a lot of people my age will be really kind of almost like obsessed with sex. It's like, it's the best thing that you could do. Like it's extremely exciting when it happens. And it's something that people might go out if they're single to try to pursue. Uh, it might be something that they talk about a lot or it might be something that is a really big part of them and their partner's um, relationship. And I don't really understand that. <laughs> it's worth mentioning as well that I am on the autism spectrum as well. And for us autistic people uh, being asexual, bisexual, or in some way gender, uh, gender diverse is very common. So autism is really about a lot of the time not kind of fitting in with the norms and the expectations and the things that people take for granted. And so this is one of those things, a lot of people take it for granted that they just love sex and they, they find it really exciting and they, you know, have this overwhelming urge to do it and have it. Um, and I just, I just don't, I never have. I, I do get it, I, it's nice, like sex is lovely. <laughs> sex is really, really nice. Physical contact is really, really nice. I love it. I've been lucky enough to have some amazing sex uh, in my life and it's wonderful. But I just don't have that overwhelming urge, that kind of crazy obsession with it that I see in so, so, so many people. Um, and the final thing which kind of, I guess, prevented me from finding my great ace identity was that I've always been a people pleaser. I've always been a kind of empath. I've always been somebody who is quite anxious. And so for the longest time in my life, I was really always focused on the other person. Whatever the gender of that person was, I got my pleasure from giving them pleasure. I got my excitement from making them feel good. And I did that with friends, family, with, with anyone that I would meet, colleagues and so on, but also with physical intimacy, also with romantic connections. You know, it was all about me fitting in with that person and making them feel good in that I lost sight of what actually made me feel good. And when I healed from a lot of that, when I healed from a lot of the the mental health issues and the trauma that, you know, that fueled that, I actually uncovered the fact that, hey, do you know what? Actually, if my pleasure and my enjoyment is really centered, I'm, I'm not really super bothered about having sex all the time. So that is me. I'm a great ace. I also identify as ace flux. And I'm going to make uh, another video about that, which I will post on the end screen. Um, but do you relate? Do you have any questions about this? Do you think you might be great ace or another identity on the asexual spectrum? Please subscribe because we've got loads more content on the asexual spectrum and the bi spectrum and loads of other things coming out. If you would like to know more about the ACE spectrum and my ACE identity, then check out these videos and I will speak to you again very soon. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Bye for now.